Let's look at some of the reasons behind the way people act when they're upset or angry. Let's look at fight or flight. How many of you have come across fight or flight before? A few of you. Let's see if you understand what it really means. Here's a situation. Some sort of nasty prehistoric creature and your caveman. We'll give him a little beard, shall we? rubbishy hair okay looks a bit Amish now doesn't he I don't know what I've done there okay hold on there we go now it looks like Jedward ah oh, okay now it's Abraham Lincoln okay so Abraham Lincoln he's been handled by a prehistoric monster what's his first choice if you were there if you were him what would you do Right, you'd run. Flight. What emotion is that? Fear. First is fear. But hang on a minute. You've got these people. And who are they? No, they're not an army. What are they? No, they're not cactuses. They're his children. It's that bad a picture. Okay, what's he got to do? What would you do? You pick what you pick up two and leave one that you didn't like. Or you throw one at the monster. Now, come on, what would you do? Right, you'd fight. And if you're fighting. What emotion is that? Anger. Okay. That's interesting. Fight. Flight is run away. Fear. Fight to confront is anger. But all anger comes from the inability to run away. So when you cannot run from the situation, you fight. So all angry people are scared, fundamentally. The fear is what propels you into anger. Changes the way you look at angry people. Now, let's look at some of the physical effects of entering fight or flight. It lasts 20 minutes normally. Now, have any of you ever been in a situation where you might have seen, been looking after a child who nearly just stopped them from running in the road? Yeah? Or you've seen something horrific and you go, oh. Or even you yourself have been in a situation of mortal fear. Good. How did you feel physically afterwards? Did you feel a bit shaky? A bit wobbly? It's adrenaline coursing through your veins. You feel a bit sick? So, first things happens when you click into fight or flight, your reflexes increase significantly. Why? Your body's in danger. If you don't have good reflexes, you could die. Your body literally goes into overdrive. It's like a natural Red Bull, but on Red Bull. Speed of reflexes increase. Your heart rate boom, 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 increases. Why? blood flow to power those muscles that are becoming gorged with blood because if your muscles your heart rate aren't working at the best value or the best energy that's gonna catch you and you will die when you're running away from the monster what do you got to do find the best route which means you only look at what keeps you alive. Do you look and go, uh, oh, they're nice, lovely flowers over there. Oh, oh, look at the view here. Do you think you, no, because if you did, he's on you. Tunnel vision, actually tunnel hearing as well. You'll only hear what's directly relevant to help you. So along with your tunnel vision, you get a, um, oral acuity changes. In other words, you only hear things that are directly relevant to helping you. Now that's relevant in customer service. 
because they're not going to listen to what you're saying unless it's something that is going to help them because they've fallen into fight or flight. Your digestion stops. So if you're scared and you eat at a full stomach, that food is not going to be digested until the problem is dealt with. Because every single aspect of your being, if you imagine your power or your body's system, when you go into fight or flight, 100% of everything goes through or is turned on to survival mode. Digestion is not an immediate survival situation, it turns off. Long term uh, bone building, long term immune system, off. Rebuilding of cells, off. You don't need to have your skin being replenished over the next six months. If in the next six minutes you're dead. All about survival. It's all systems to the engines, effectively. Body maintenance is reduced by 90%. 90%. So literally everything is just running on the bare minimum. Everything is on survival. This is why people who are really scared void their bowels. It's not to make them quicker. It's because if they take an injury in this region, you don't want fecal matter, for want of a better word, in the mix. That's why really scared you vomit. Because if you've got undigested food here, you don't want that in the mix if you take a hit. Really important stuff. You get an immune spike initially, so for 20 minutes your immune system is at its highest, and then it goes right down for a period of time. So if you do take an injury, you need to have that to deal with that very immediate strike, but after that it's reduced. And lastly, you appear flushed, you look angry, red in the face, because your blood has come to the surface, because everything is about survival. Those are the physical effects. You're much stronger, you've got a flushed appearance, your reflexes are quicker, everything about you is the best it can be physically.